guys, Rebecca here, and today I want to show you how to quickly add a appointment an appointment to your Cozy calendar. And I use my Cozy calendar for everything, but I schedule my kids' field trips on here, and I get a lot of use out of this because of what I'm about to show you. You can make this really work for you. So the way I add appointments to the schedule, there's several ways to do it. You have this little bar up here where you can type in to add an event and that works really well. But for what I'm doing, I am I just simply go to the day that I'm gonna schedule the field trip and I double click on that day and it pops up this little menu for making appointments. And I'm going to schedule a field trip to the historic Ramsey house. So I'm just going to type that in. And the field trip is going to be for me and Harmon and Shauna. And I these are all the people on my cozy calendar and they can get notifications. They do not have a cell phone. They only have just on the iPad or you know Wi-Fi access, but it will let them know there's an appointment. Now, if I, if you have Cozy Gold and you want to notify someone else of an appointment, you can click notify and it will notify whoever you want it to notify. So I'm just going to send that notification to my husband, but I'm not really going to do that. But anyways, you can notify um, people of new appointments. You can also set a reminder so that you will get a reminder beforehand about the appointment and you can set a couple of different reminders. This might be a Cozy Gold feature. I'm not 100% sure because I've had Cozy Gold for so many years, but I don't need this many reminders, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. However, this is one of the things that I really like about it is the section here for notes. And you can click on notes and it gives you this little place to add whatever information you need. And I'm just going to add the link to the main page. And the reason why I'm doing that is because before I head out to go drive 20, 30 minutes to this place, I wanna make sure that they're actually open. So maybe when the day comes, I'm just gonna double check their hours and see you know, when I can actually take a tour or whatever, I accidentally clicked on weddings. We don't want to do that, but let's say hours and admissions. So say I'm on my phone and I just want to check really quick. Oh, okay. They're, they're open on Friday. They open at 10 o'clock. And so I've got that. I don't have to search. It's right there in my notes. And another thing that's really handy about using Cozy is the ability to add a location. So I'm going to type in historic Ramsey House, Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm going to click on get map. And this little box pops up that says get a map of this location for best results, enter your zip code and settings. And so I highly recommend doing that because it makes it easier for it to search the local area to find what you're looking for. So if I click on get map, and you can actually do this from your smartphone as well, it's gonna pop up and give me directions to the historic Ramsey house. And so I can just click on that and find my way. Another cool thing is that if you have the location added here and you click on the link, it's gonna pop up and give you the phone number and the exact address and everything. So say you wanna just call them real quick on your way, you can do all of that from your phone just because you've spent a minute to add that into your, your calendar. So that is one thing that I find very convenient about Cozy is that you can add the notes and the location and of course, they do have this option here for part of a schedule. So if you have a soccer schedule and you're putting it there or whatever, there's lots of different ways you can use that, the schedule part there. So that's pretty handy. And this isn't a real appointment, so I'm going to cancel this. But you would, you would click save if you actually wanted to save 
that appointment there. And now there's another thing that is really cool. If you have something like soccer or martial arts that your child does, you know, all the time, you can make that part of a schedule. And then you can go in and create a new schedule for whatever sport, let's say, and ours is, let's just, I'm just making this up. And so that's going to be the schedule and it has it there. And then you can click on view schedule and it's just, it's really convenient because you can, if you go to the same practice at the same time every week, you can use this. It's really handy, especially if you and your spouse are both taking the kids back and forth, or if you usually do and the other person doesn't really know what day it's supposed to be part of. So anyhow, that is another really handy part of scheduling appointments on this calendar. And I always open up my cozy calendar whenever I'm at the doctor's office and I'm making my appointment for the next, you know, my next dentist appointment or my next you know, doctor's appointment or lab work, if they have something, I just go ahead and open my cozy up on my phone and schedule it right then so I don't miss out <laughs> on an important appointment. So you can actually just show the um, appointments just that are just for me or say my husband's looking at this and he wants to see just what's here for him and it, it's, it's really convenient in the way that you can use it just as an individual calendar or you can use it as a family calendar just by the click of a button. And then there's other calendars that you can actually add to your Cozy. You can see that I have a weather calendar added onto mine. So with a, just a quick glance, I can see what the weather is going to be like today you know if i need to take a jacket or a hat or an umbrella so that's handy to have it right on your calendar and that is pretty much how i use cozy to schedule our field trips throughout the year if there's like an event coming up i will go ahead and schedule that on my calendar there's a house and garden show at um, downtown and so i have the link for that already here and I can choose to go or if something comes up and I can't go but it tells me all about it in case I happen to have forgotten by the day this gets here because I have scheduled our field trip so far in advance by the time the day arrives I often have forgotten what the field trip is about so basically this is a reminder for me and it just helps me to stay organized if you have any questions about how Cozy works or if I failed to cover something about appointments and you want me to cover that or you just want a question answered, feel free to leave comments in the comment section down below this video and I will try my best to answer and to help you. The link to sign up for Cozy for free is also in the description box, so make sure that you go check that out if you don't already have a Cozy account. Like I said, it's free. You can have it on your phone and on your desktop. So happy scheduling.